Lauren Lipton is a familiar name to the thousands of people who listen to KYW News Radio every weekday morning. This is KYW, the news center on your radio dial. Lauren Lipton is at the editor's desk in the news. She has been guiding the morning drive show from the KYW editor's desk for the past 30 years. A reporter, anchor, and senior editor for KYW News Radio, Lipton's voice is well known to KYW listeners from her award winning Positively Philadelphia reports. On the first Sunday of every month, a very special party takes place here in Philadelphia. Before joining News Radio, Lipton was a reporter, producer, and ultimately executive editor for CBS3, KYW TV. Longtime radio listeners in the Delaware Valley will remember her newscasts on WFIL Radio. This story headlines WFIL News, Lori Lipton reporting. She was the station's first female anchor. When she was at WFIL, John Lennon came there for a charity drive and told Lauren he liked her bags. Tea bags, that is. She was also the first woman to cover the Army-Navy game. Back in 1973, she was sent to cover the game with a press pass that read, Ladies Not Admitted to the Press Box. After that day, press passes for the Army-Navy game were changed, and that line was never used again. She has won numerous awards for her work in both radio and TV, including a special honor presented by President Ronald Reagan at the White House for a TV news series on volunteerism. She was also inducted into the Temple University Lou Klein Alumni in the Media Hall of Fame. In addition to her work at KYW, Lipton has been a part-time faculty member at Temple University and the University of Pennsylvania. It gives us great pleasure to welcome Lauren Lipton to the Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame. Um, I think I used up all my time walking up here from my table, but I'll try to be fast. I just want to thank my KYW News Radio family Bill Roswell, and who helped me edit my tape. As he said, my life in two minutes. And uh, my, uh, especially to David Yageroff and Steve Butler, who let me get up at two o'clock in the morning, every single day, in the snow, and the rain, and the sleet, and I love it. And also my, KYW TV family, who also helped me edit my tape, Charlene Horn and her little band of elves over there. And my good friends who are here, um, uh, Amy and Joanne, which makes me very happy. Anyhow, I just wanna say I am lucky, like as most people have said, that I have had a job that I love for a station that I love. And I love coming to work when the city's sleeping and deciding what everybody should hear every morning. And I I really do wake up and it's like, let's go. And um, I just wanna say, when I was looking at getting my stuff together for the tape, I was remembering the Army-Navy game and going up all these, you know, this huge flight of steps to the press box. And I remember saying, um, I went in and I, I said, they all looked at me and if a llama had dropped in the room, they wouldn't have been any more shocked than to see me. And um, I remember saying to them, why did you put ladies not admitted to the press box? And they said, well, we don't want the men bringing their wives and girlfriends. It had become a real problem. I said, well, why don't you just say no guests allowed? And they said, well, it had never come up. I said, well, it's come up now. So they... (laughs) I said, well, I think you should change that because I might be the first woman to cover the Army-Navy game, but I'm not going to be the last. And when you look at TV today, 
all over the place, there's women everywhere, and I think that's great. When I got to FIL, I was the first woman, and they said, you're going to have to get used to being the first woman. There were all men here. I said, wait a minute, no problem. I can face down the sports writers. I can do FIL. Anyhow, I just wanted to thank everybody for this honor. And I also wanted to, um, I just, along with my management, Steve Butler, Dave Yageroff, and everybody, I wanted to mention that my two sisters are here. And we've been through a lot together. My dad died when we were very little. My mom was a stay-at-home housewife who was like, you know, had to go back to work. She was very young. And it was like, go to work so you can afford college, so you can get into it and get a job. And uh, my one sister, Marilyn, she teaches college, and she was a um, kindergarten teacher in this Philadelphia school district for 30 years. And my other sister, Susan, is a social worker and a placement specialist at major hospitals in the area. And I'll tell you, when I watch what they do, I just think like I'd have to be carried away screaming. They do such a good job. And if their professions had a hall of fame, they'd be in there big time. So anyhow, thank you so much. I'm so honored.